All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about converting a carboxylic acid into something that's higher in energy, um, an acid chloride, right? So this is the bottom of the meal, this is at the top. Uh, so what we need to do is we're gonna need a pretty strong reagent, a pretty strong electrophile, actually. So this is sulfur, because it has two chlorines pulling on it and double bond oxygen, it's really delta plus. And this carboxylic acid, no, it's normally an acid, it's gonna be able to act like a nucleophile here, but it's gonna act in a little different sense. So we gotta think about its resonance structure so we think about the carboxylic acid's resonance structure, we see that the oxygen that's not bonded to the H is actually the more nucleophilic one. And that's the one that's actually gonna react with the sulfur. So that's gonna add, kick up, do that addition step. And what's that gonna give us? So that gives us this species, this tetrahedral intermediate and we have really good leaving groups on our sulfur. So we're actually gonna kick out one of those chlorines. So that's that elimination step. These addition elimination things. All right, now we're to this species. We've done the elimination. But now you can see we have a nucleophile. We have still that carbon, the carbonyl, of the original oxygen there. It's still pretty reactive. We want that chlorine to react there. So we have a protonated species. It makes that carbon more reactive. So that's gonna do another addition. All right, so now we're at another tetrahedral intermediate, and now this is gonna uh, completely uh, break down here in a second, and what's gonna happen is we're gonna do another elimination. And what's gonna happen, if we wanna do it all in one step, we're gonna make a pi bond. It's gonna break here, it's gonna make another pi bond and it's gonna kick out the chlorine. So watch what happens here. I'm gonna circle this H. All right, so see what happens here. So this was another elimination and deprotonation. So we end up with our acid chloride. We end up with SO2, which of course is a gas. H and then a Cl minus, Chris, this is an H plus, and this is that H from before that circle is blue, and so that creates HCl, so you can show them as a form like that or not, but what we've done here necessarily is, right, we've created gas, so this is downhill, so it's gonna make this reaction go, right, so that's one of the things that's hard with these reactions sometimes, right, because the carboxylic acid is not as react, is not nowhere near as reactive as an acid chloride, so one of the ways to drive this reaction is one of the products actually is a gas, and that's SO2. And for the gas, there's no really going backwards. There's no really going back this way. So if you produce a gas as one of your products, you end up uh, moving the reaction forward, and that gets it to an acid chloride, which is the most reactive species in Mount Carbonyl.